I'm here outside of Howard University's Founders Library, where Rethinking High School, a panel discussion with Soledad O'Brien, is live streaming as we speak. Educators of all levels and students gathered together to have a discussion on the American education system and its future, centering on innovation, technology, and creativity, and implementing plans on how to include those things in an education system that is beneficial for all American children. Now before the show, Howard University News Service had the opportunity to sit down with Soledad O'Brien and get some insight into her experience up until the event and her passions about education. Take a look. According to the U.S. Department of Education, there are over 30,000 high schools in the country. Now before filming Rethinking High School, Soledad O'Brien had the opportunity to poll educators and students alike to determine just what it is that these schools need to ensure a bright future. I, mean, I think education is a very messy, complicated, interesting, uh, challenging story to report on. So it involves politics, it involves policy, it involves parents, it involves money, it involves government, it involves students, it involves, right? So there's all these sort of pieces to it. So as a reporter, I just think it's a very interesting story. Interesting, I think students are bored. Mm -hmm. And so I think the students who care are really interested in figuring out how they could be engaged and also what can they do? Like how do you learn by doing in a way that actually shows that you're learning something like what could you do? and I think most models for the students that I talk to is a teacher standing at the front of the classroom I mean doing the exact same thing that that I experienced many many years ago and right I, I think we didn't learn anything about collaboration we didn't look, learn anything about working in teams there was no technology mm -hmm. my kids are learning in a very different way and I think students today need to learn in a very different manner than people like me learned I want them to to have self-esteem in school you know, that's not something a teacher stands at the front of the class and teaches, but I, I think that's an important thing to get out of, of high school because I think that's a building block of being a successful human being. Actually, have to have people in a community decide it's important, and then they all have to come together to decide they're going to make change, and they're going to decide what the change looks like. You have to do it that way. You can From Washington, D.C., this is Sydney King, Howard University News Service.